ओके तो व्हाट इज द मैकेनिज्म ऑफ क्लोरिनेशन ऑफ मीथेन सो व्हेन मीथेन रिएक्ट विद क्लोरीन इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ यूवी लाइट वी गेट मिथाइल क्लोराइड एंड एससीएल बट ओनली मिथाइल क्लोराइड इज नॉट पॉसिबल देयर आर मिक्सचर ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स क्लियर बट इफ मीथेन इज इन एक्सेस इफ मीथेन इज इन एक्सेस देन वी गेट मिथाइल क्लोराइड एज द मेजर प्रोडक्ट राइट सो वी शुड कीप इन माइंड दिस वर्ड हेल्पर हेल्पर मीन्स हीट और हाई टेम्परेचर और इलेक्ट्रिसिटी लाइट और ऑक्साइड इलेक्ट्रोलिस रेडिकल इनिशिएटर और रेडिकल ऑन इफ दीज आर द केसेस देन मैकेनिज्म इज फ्री रेडिकल मैकेनिज्म इज फ्री रेडिकल सो मैकेनिज्म ऑफ दिस रिएक्शन इज it is an example of free radical reaction or free radical chain reaction free radical chain reaction so chain reaction has three steps first step is chain initiation step what is chain initiation step first of all chlorine molecule comes in contact with uv light so when it comes in contact with uv light it absorbs uv light and there is a formation of free radical This is a formation of free radical. Main homolysis takes place. What happened? Homolysis. homolysis. So homolysis we represent by half-headed arrows. These are half-headed arrows, and we get two chlorine free radicals. What would we get? Two chlorine free radicals. and you know what is free radical free radical is an odd electron species and it is electron deficient right now once we get free radical now there is no need of free radical now it takes place by its own because of this free radical right so one molecule of or one photon of light serve our purpose once we get this chlorine free radical now we can propagate the chain that is called chain propagation step in chain propagation step now this chlorine free radical when it is formed you know it is highly reactive it is a reaction intermediate it is not the final product it is a reaction intermediate now this chlorine free radical comes in contact with <coughs> methane molecule this is under the heading of chain propagation step methane react with chlorine free radical now free radical needs free radical so this chlorine free radical break the molecule of methane into another free radicals there is a breaking of ch bond by homolysis every time homolysis takes place kaun sa reaction ho raha hai homolysis right so homolysis we get methyl free radical and now h free radical is formed that h free radical react with cl cl free radical and leads the formation of hcl did you get it okay now this methyl free radical react with 
क्लोरीन मॉलिक्यूल दिस मिथाइल फ्री रेडिकल रिएक्ट विद क्लोरीन मॉलिक्यूल एंड दिस मिथाइल फ्री रेडिकल अगेन लाइक दिस क्लोरीन फ्री रेडिकल लीड्स टू द ब्रेकिंग ऑफ सी एच बॉन्ड बाई होमोलेट बाई होमोलिसिस सेम दिस मिथाइल फ्री रेडिकल ब्रेक सी एल सी एल मॉलिक्यूल होमोलिटिकली फर्स्ट वी नीड यूवी लाइट इन द फर्स्ट स्टेप वी नीड यूवी लाइट बट नाउ देर इज नो नीड ऑफ यूवी लाइट ओके वन फोटोन वेन जनरेट दिस फ्री रेडिकल नाउ चेन रिएक्शन टेक्स प्लेस राइट सो नाउ वट वुड वी गेट सॉरी वट वुड वी गेट सी एच सी एच सी एच एंड दिस इज सी एल गुड सी सी एल बॉन्ड फॉर्मेशन टेक्स प्लेस एंड वी गेट अनदर फ्री रेडिकल Every time we get free radical in propagation step. See, this is chlorine free radical, and it generates methyl free radical. This is methyl free radical. It generates chlorine free radical. Now, as we get this molecule, it react with chlorine free radical. Then again, same reaction takes place. next ch bond breaking takes place chlorine free radical sorry hydrogen free radical attached to chlorine free radical we get hcl hcl and just tell me what happened now This free radical react with chlorine molecule. Say these two steps are repeated. Every time one CH bond is replaced by CCl. CH bond, CCl bond. Chlorine free radical here it is used. We generate that is generated here. Right. So now chlorine molecule. breaks homolytically we get this product next step same this process is repeated next ch bond is placed by cl so next product would be c cl 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 and h next product cl 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 means these are the products form ch3 cl ch2 cl2 ch cl3 c cl4 so this is these are the products form in chain propagation step and every time one free radical one free radical one free radical one free radical free radical remains same on both sides but in initiation step we get more free radicals neutral molecule we get free radical now in last step that is called chain termination step first step initiation step second is propagation last step is termination step now in chain termination step you have noted no yes after first and third the second step we have third step is chain termination step we in chain termination step free radicals start combining with each other for example we have chlorine free radical that can combine with chlorine free radical to give back chlorine molecule or 
methyl free radical can combine with chlorine free radical to give methane molecule sorry it is methyl chloride or methyl free radical can combine with methyl free radical to get ethane one so a small amount of ethane molecule is also formed in the chlorination of methane so how do we manage to explain it ki that methyl free radical if it combine with another methyl free radical we get ethane molecule in chain termination step in initiation step we get free radical from neutral molecule in propagation free radicals remains same on both sides in termination step free radicals start combining to give neutral molecules right so these are the three steps of chain reaction which reaction free radical chain yes. reaction and in termination step we get ethane molecule in small amount so total products which are formed during chlorination of methane if chlorine is in excess products formed in the chlorination of methane in the presence of uv light if chlorine is in excess what are the products ch3cl plus ch plus ch2cl2 plus chcl3 ccl4 plus ch ethane in small amount and hcl these are the products form so ccl if ccl4 sorry sorry ah uh, yes ccl4 is in excess then if methane is in excess then major product form are methyl chloride and hcl also ethane is formed in small amount but major products are methyl chloride and hcl along with ethane same in small amount now if we look at reactivity which free radical is most stable primary secondary or tertiary tertiary that means tertiary free radical is formed easily so if we use different alkyl halides here we are using methane if we use different alkyl alkanes then reactivity order of free radicals is tertiary secondary and then primary if we use different halogens then which halogen is most reactive fluorine then chlorine chromide good right so this is the mechanism of we can say halogenation of alkenes clear if we use different alkyl alkenes then tertiary hydrogen a breaking of tertiary hydrogen takes place easily because that leads to the formation of tertiary free radical right that's it thank you